All right, in this morning's Bay Area backstage, a critically acclaimed stage production, The Lehman Trilogy, is currently playing here in San Francisco. Now it follows the rise and fall of a family empire from the origins of the Lehman Brothers in the 19th century to its growth into a major financial firm and through its collapse in 2008, triggering a global financial crisis. So joining us right now are the actors who play the three original Lehman Brothers. Right now, John Heffernan, Howard Overshown, and Aaron Crone. Hi, thank you guys for being here. Thanks for having us. Yes. No, we appreciate it, and all three of you, too. So that's nice to have everybody here. You know, just talking about the history, obviously, of the three brothers and just know how it sort of played out in 2008 and really what it meant for so many financially. How do you approach a role like this? I'll start with you in the sense of learning to kind of create that and carry it throughout the play. Well, um, it, well we, we played many roles. So um, I think I played the least, about 18 characters. In total, I think the three of us play 70 different different roles. So, um, you know, you start with the basics. My basic role is Emmanuel Lehman, the brother, the middle brother. Um, but uh, I also play uh, Herbert Lehman children. I play um, uh, a Hungarian named Glucksman. Um, wow. And it really just, it's, you know, for me, it's, the, it's like basic storytelling. If you remember uh, being told a story by your parents mm -hmm. or a relative, where you know you uh, you start the story and then you you slightly change your voice to, for a different character or your your posture and that's basically what we're doing. So it's it's all connected from the beginning to end, the whole performance. Uh, and it, it's done in three acts, three acts, correct? Like throughout mm -hmm. the play. So how do you guys sort of prepare for something like this? I mean, I had no idea you played so many characters and all three of you do in the show. So how do you sort of weave that together before the show even starts? How much time goes into that? It's quite a lot of preparation. I mean the. We're very lucky in the sense that the play has already been such a huge success. It started in London about five or six years ago, and it's pretty much won every award going, hasn't it, over the last <laughs> few years in New York? And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but the, the creative team have been fantastic in that you're able to bring so much of yourself into the roles that you're playing. You don't feel as though you're constrained into a particular template. So that's been the, the most fantastic process that you've been able to bring you know your own your own take on each role and as Howard was saying we're all playing so many different parts we're taking a, a 150 years of wow. American history and uh, it's the it's the scale of it which is so thrilling to play every night yeah and it's very much adult playroom you know <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. released and presenting it to different audiences I mean you're here in San Francisco what do you hope people take away from this because you know you read the stories especially how it you know impacted us so much in 2008 financially here of course in the state so how do you how do you sort of want people to take away from when they see something like this I think for me, there's a, the connection of family and tradition. You know, I, I, that Bob Dylan, you gotta serve somebody mm -hmm. quote is always in my head when, when we start working on the show and uh, money's not a good option, you know, <laughs> which is uh, one of the things I think the play, you know, again, a play wants to ask questions more than tell what it's about. But I think one of those questions is what happens when you lose connection to tradition? What happens when there's not a sound worship and a human connection and the, the, the more the brothers and their children and their children's children get into the greed and how can we do more and more it becomes digital and things and mm -hmm. objects instead of humans. So I think that's something I want, I, I hope we're getting across the, 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 there are no footlights, but the, the metaphorical footlights, you know, that, that staying connected to the human connection is, is, is a good thing. <laughs> well, we've about 30 seconds left, and I know there's, you play brothers, there's a bit of camaraderie there. Right before we started this interview, there was some laughter and fun happening. <laughs> Do you guys, you know, sort of now create this special relationship be, doing a show like this together? We're not no allowed pressure. to talk. <laughs> <laughs> we're not Are you friends, together. I guess, is what I'm getting at? <laughs> yes, we're very fond of each yes. other. And we should uh, mention uh, Rebecca Bruce. Is yes, our pianist, yeah, who's, yeah. who's the fourth actor yeah. with us every night. Oh, in, wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she's exactly. there. She plays, she orchestrates. Nick Powell wrote music. Huge publisher. She plays every night. But yes, we're, we get along well. We, uh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're a fam. Definitely. Okay, well, I think that's important, especially when you spend so much time together. Yeah. And again, I say it every time. You can reason... check in with us in a couple of weeks. That's <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm going to look at all your Instagrams yeah. and social media right posts to see good. if you're doing, like, yeah. selfies and all of it together. Yeah. Okay. No, that's good to hear, because sometimes I think when you're creating a family on stage, if you step back off stage and you have a good relationship, I think it shows. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, it carries through. Well, we appreciate you guys being here today. Thank you so much for making Thank the you. time. Yeah. And uh, the Lehman Trilogy continues at ACT's Tony Remby <laughs> Theater through Sunday, June 23rd.